If you have access to a tire wall dummy, then you can do a whole number of combinations. I'll just show some simple ones right here. It's just punches. It's a straight bone arrow punch. It's also a chain punch, and then a combination of the two. The first, make sure you warm up. Personally, I like to warm up with one of these exercise bands. You can get a heavier one or a lighter one, or double them up if it's too light. You could do shoulder stretches this way, holding them out, or just repeating them. And you can also do bow and arrow punch. It's a good way to start getting some action in your shoulders so that you don't overextend yourself. You're also going to want to have some solid gloves with wrist protection. When you hit the tire, these tires are going to be really stiff. Of course, it depends on what tires you use, but these are steel belted tires and they are really stiff. So when you hit them, try not, you want to punch through them, which means you're going to contact without the elbow being fully straight. If you contact with it straight, or if you contact too early, you might hyperextend your elbow. So be very careful of that. Once you're geared up, you have wrist protection, you have gloves. These are 8-ounce gloves. They're relatively light, but they've still got some weight to them. A tire dummy I have set up so that the head height is higher than myself. It's easier to hit somebody who's smaller than you. It's a lot harder to hit somebody who's higher, taller than you. Bow and arrow punch, we know. We start off with a bow and arrow punch. Even after you've done your warm up, this is the first serious punch. You go pull and push. Pull and push at the same time. My front toe is at an angle. My back toe ideally is facing the direction of travel. Not everybody's stance is gonna be able to do that. And you should have some space in between the two heels as you face the target. Square off, lead hand, lead leg. You're pulling and pushing. Alternatively, as you pull and push, and this is good practice anyway, and you do a bow and arrow punch, raise your hand high, let's say as though you're brushing your hair out of the way, so that you still have a cover as you pull and punch in. Let's do five of those. Two, three, four, five. On the other side, it looks like this. One, two, three, four, five. Right, that's just fine. You can take a quick break, switch sides. I just did a, a right and then a left. Now we could do 10 on the right, 10 on the left. Let's skip past that and we'll do the chain punch. Anybody can do, sit here and do a chain punch for a couple minutes, no problem. You have eight ounce gloves in your hands. It's a lot harder. When you're actually contacting a target, it's even harder still, especially when it's high. With this thing set up so high, I'm gonna set up close enough so that I have to push in from my hips to contact. Not the shoulders, short bridge only. Let's do this for approximately five seconds. Switch sides, give yourself a five second break. And we'll go again. Right. You're not gonna reach forward in it. Stance forward in with the hips, backing up the hands and elbows. Don't bounce, I'm doing it for effect here. The whole stance backed into it. Again, after you've done five seconds, rest five seconds, do it five seconds, rest 10 seconds, do another 10. Add to that how you see fit. The third combination let's do is going to be bow and arrow punch three times. One, two, three. And on the fourth hand, you do a four, five, six chain punch. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you're transitioning from a long reach hand, long bridge, reach hand to a short bridge chase follow up because you're not going to go long bridge hit and then chain, or just walk right in and chain. You have to break open with a punch before you chain in. But the transition should be smooth. You're cycling the hands. So we do these, we'll say five sets on either side to start. Right leg lead once again. One, two, three, four, five, six.
Then you can change the other side. Give yourself a little bit of a break. And we'll do it again. Three, four, five, six. And that's three routines put together. You could do an entire drill, do it multiples of five. <laughs>